I need to find a ranch maid here called Lily Millet. You know where she is? I don't know. Miss Millet, the ranch maid. You know where I can find her? Don't know where she is now, but she's probably with Cooper. Lily Millet, you know where she is? Not sure, but I, I think I saw her with Cooper earlier. Uh, Lily Millet, where can I find her? Now, all I know is that she's with Cooper. You want you any know more Lily Millet is? Else. She's with Cooper over by the store. Why's it always gotta be such a goddamn performance with you? Now, I told you I'd get you the money next week, and I'll get it. If you... Lily, where's our money? What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well, then, I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper, give him what you've got. I ain't giving him nothing except a lesson in damn money. Son of a bitch!
I think I'm just gonna go to bed. Your horse looks well. How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Fine. Our accounts are up to date. Sad sacks, a lot of them. Good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. 
Well, I usually do. I know. I know. Hello, Miss Grimshaw. ain't looking for gold, partner. I ain't seen so much as a fleck round here. <laughs> well, good luck to you. Hmm. Hey, give me some goddamn space here, will you? Just curious is all. No need to get rattled.
Oh, Mr. Downs! You, uh, uh, uh. Mr. Thomas Downs? You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... We ain't a charity, Mr. Downs. Oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm, I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. Why'd it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir, I didn't want this. You ain't such a do-gooder, no. are you? If you're running out on debt... I'm... I'm, I'm not running anywhere. I'm... I'm, I'm, do, I'm doing my best for you. You are a slippery little bastard. But I got you now. I wouldn't pay it up and been a little easier. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <laughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course.
There, boy. Come on. This damn nag! Hey! Why don't you put me down, friend? Come on, man! Cut the ropes off! just fine out here. So how about you? Please, friend, untie me quick! I'm getting real nauseous on your back here. I sure owe you one. If I'm gonna be hanged, at least let it be for a crime I committed. I'll let you in on a little secret. That doctor in Valentine is running a shady racket in the back room of his shop. You know there's money in it, too. You best run along before the law comes back for you. Yep. Come on. Interesting way of putting it, James. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Please. 
I know how to work with good people, Seamus, and I work in the right way. Well, they all say that. I never met an idiot that called himself one. Very true. In that case, I'm an idiot. But I know how to get things done efficiently. Uh, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What are you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur! Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. By marriage, I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. <laughs> really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? You're the one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches? That's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. Yeah, that's it, boy. How you feeling about things now? What things? This place. The gang. Been here a few weeks now. Good, I think. Better. I figured more folks would have cut and run on us, given everything that happened. Like Dutch always says, the lone wolf don't last long out on the plains. He does like to trot that one out. Hey, let's keep it down now. We must be close. That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Just wait.
Okay, let's go. Sure. You go into the house. I'll go find this wagon. Maybe take a peek through the windows before you go in. Make sure it's all quiet.
Get on, dear boy. the better right now. Just need to get this back to Seamus in one piece and it's a good night's work. Slow it yeah, down a bit. So what were you able to lift from the house? Found some money stashed away. Must be a few hundred. Not too bad. Not bad at all. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. Take it easy, Arthur. It wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. Yeah, exactly. How long do you think we're going to stick around here for? Not sure. Until we can't, I suppose. You're going to crash if you don't slow down. Okay. Here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Sure. His father both hunted sperm whales. Hey. 
Everyone's fathers. It's time for bed. Okay, boy. Let's go. I can feel a real kind donation coming from this boy here. Hey boys!
Can I get a room for tonight, please? Room's all yours. Head on up. Would you like some extra help there? Nah, I'm good. Thank you. All right, I'll leave you to it then. I can hear that goddamn butch. They're whistling and shouting his lungs off. And the stink that comes through these walls.